Hello, my name is Simon and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. Mario's 35th birthday celebrations continued last month and he even managed to rope in the Game & Watch to join in with his relentless shindiggery. This was via the release of the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros, a new handheld which includes the original Super Mario Bros, a digital clock and not a lot more. It appeals to everyone according to this ad, including high-powered businessmen. Next was that the documentary Insert Coin was launched and takes a look into the history of Midway games, exploring how the likes of Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam and other titles came to fruition. You can stream it via the link in this video's description. Let's start with the PS4 for once, with the system receiving four new arcade archive titles, 64th Street, Petan Puyo, Zero Team, Green Beret as well as Katamari Damacy Reroll, a tarted up version of the PS2 title. The Switch also received four arcade archive titles, almost exactly the same set actually, Petan Puyu, Vulcan Venture, Zero Team and Green Beret. Then there were a couple of multi-format releases, the first was the Serious Sam collection for the PS4, Xbox One and Switch, and the second was the apparently hugely disappointing remake of 13 for Windows, Luna, PS4 and Xbox One. Looks like 13 is unlucky for everyone in this case. First up was the release of a VIC-20 HDMI plug and play system. It was actually launched in October. Oops. Second, Retro 6 created a fully decked out prestige game gear, but it'll cost you with the system setting you back a cool £240. Next there was the launch of the Bandai Namco Arcade Blast, which includes 10 classic arcade games in a HDMI based micro console that employs a wireless controller. And finally, the Polymega's release date has been pushed back to next year. You can wait a little longer, right? To start this section, the winners of the CPC Retro Dev 2020 were announced last month, and you can find the full list, including the magical sorcerers, pictured by visiting the relevant link in this video's description. Sergeant Helmet Training Day 2020 was also launched for the Amstrad CPC in November, and was developed by the prolific Mojon Twins. Then there were 10 ZX Spectrum titles released, largely in part to the Yandex Retro Games Battle 2020. They included Little Nina, Dev Will 2 ZX, 24 Hour Parsley People, Maya Mare, Red Raid, White Jaguar, Mars Mare, Alienation, Code 112, Bulletstorm, and Duck Stroma. Duck Stroma was also released for the MSX, with the system also receiving platform adventure La Reliquia. The next system on my list is the Commodore 64, with four new titles. Shoot 'em Up Destruction Set 3, Showdown, Neptune Land Elite, and Juan J. Juega in Sinverland. Let's stay on the Commodore Line 2, with the Amiga receiving a quartet of new games Wiz, Quest for the Magic Lantern, Looty V2, Astro Blocks Revisited, and Amiga Games Pack. Then, to finish off this segment, three Atari XLXE releases Adam is Me. Light Rally and River Raid Cold Winter. Just one piece of news for this section is that a set of concept art was released online showing an attempted Game Boy Color port of Commodore 64 title Mercenary. The title didn't get beyond the idea stage, unfortunately. Five English language fan translations were released last month, with two of these for PlayStation games namely Chocobo Dungeon and Remote Control Dandy. Then there were patches released for Working Chocobo on the Wonderswan, Lord Monarch, Tokaton Sentu Dinsetsu for the Mega Drive, and Blue Submarine No. 6 Time and Tide for the Dreamcast. That's all for this episode then, but thanks so much for watching. Your support is hugely appreciated. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and please do stay safe. There is no magic before the might of my blade!